starting off in a in in a career like journalism is a is a heck of a ride. From what you expect to what the reality is, uh, changes in perspective as as your hair grew grayer. So you know, let my I began my career in Indian TV, where of course, as mentioned in the previous panel discussion, my first few months were spent you know transcribing my thousand interviews. Okay, and uh, one day I she I think it was Branka Gandhi's interview, and I sent her. I replied to her email with the news points and the headlines. And then somebody asked me, Who is Vishwak And I said, Me. So you sent Parka her headlines and news points from her own interview <laughs> as a training. And I'm going, Well, I'm not supposed to do that. Within two, three minutes, a reply came from Parka. Okay, this is a fine point. Okay. So the people who might not know it, you might think that they are watching us on mute or uh, conversations are not happening. They are happening and they are influences. There. Rahul, who was my boss for six years, the man is a machine. If you want to learn hard work, you learn from him. Seven in the morning, you can stop at night every day, non stop, no vacation. Uh, grind you to the store and toughen you up uh, is an inspiration. Uh, Vikram Chandra was just here. Uh, Watching him growing up, inspiration. I remember when we were in TV, when we were in the past. So, a lot of impact and inspiration. Over the last comparing this session, how many of you have read his works? He is an inspiration when he's writing about other inspirational people, how they are. Okay, so that, uh, uh, about uh, uh, our, our heroes. So, yes, in popular culture, if you watch the movies, we are all going to do deals with terrorists for TRPs and letting hostage taking, and we want to catch a murder happening live on television. And we are all sold out. But uh, I think there is more hope, and a lot of people sitting here are always hard to people who try to do their best every single day. And I think there is some hope to take away. How can we use healing and self pump sensation? I want to talk about emotion in this, right? In the end, you're telling a story to cater to emotion and not having a blank face. The purpose, as physics tells us, by the very nature of the observation you take your you are part of what is going on. What you decide to focus on, how you decide to focus on it, is an aspect in which you have some limited agency. And as you gain influence within the industry, as you have to make editorial decisions, influential things can be taken. I'll give you a very small example. Two years ago, we decided. That the people who come on television, where right, the typical debate is that you want to discuss something, everything in this, you put somebody with a with a tikka, somebody with a topi, and they're high at it and the anger is the same as what I on. Sometimes even under the table doing this. Okay. So you know, so that they're they you know that they're starting off the, the argument so that you can then come in and proceed. Uh, you can choose not to happen. You can choose to have calm or rational people. Who will slow down and you see the change happening. So you see one TV channel, the same guest, guests are actually similar. They'll be sitting there and be screaming at the top of their lungs, but they'll be sitting on a different one, talking very calmly and rationally and logically. So there are choices that you can make if you want to break away. Look at the show Tarun does. He does two shows with us. Amount of effort, the research, the quality of guests, the gravitas that comes in. So he has to work doubly hard. Okay? Spend the time. To do what we have to do eight times a day. So that is a small luxury that she has. But then, in order to engage with an audience that wants to actually listen to the, to the subject, that's a great example. You know, um, audience also, you know, audience side has to be important. You know. They watch it and love it. That's why people scream. We never raise that point. We always be the TV anchors. How, when do we hold audience also accountable that they also have a choice? If I start shouting at you outside of the room, people will get okay. So, I'm going to come back to the sensible argument that if you want people to even hear a snippet of what you're saying, you're going to have to either appeal to some kind of emotion. Now, the emotion being generally TV catered to is jingoism. You want to get pumped up about something, okay? Charge of the light brigade kind of emotion. You want emotion of hate and fear. Okay, it gets you charged up. But there is also hope and inspiration. And there is a counter trend. Look at the number of motivational speakers now out there, life coaches, people who write inspirational books, people who give TEDx talks, they're very, very popular. So there is and are people wanting to be told not just good news that oh, today's a bright sunny day, it's not raining, because we see bad news, is looking for inspiration. When you're looking at television, 
you want to be inspired you want to have the yes we can hope and opportunity but for that editors journalists reporters news anchors have to then have the ability which is what their profession is is not news it's communication you have to have that gravitas to hold somebody's conversation if you are not you know i'll, I'll give you one example it's the difference between a comedian who has to time the jokes write the jokes was a slapstick comedy i throw pie on your face very funny this is to get the right intonation and timing if you will i i bring an audience here we are very really need uh, two questions quick questions uh done please tv anchors can say It became really popular. Foreign policy became so. What goes behind decision making when you think that okay, for the next ten days we are going to do foreign policy, let other channels do popular stuff, but we'll stick to this. We'll stick to the America. You know, whatever we did in the past last year. What goes behind that decision making process? I'll give you a short answer. Uh, in the day to day objective, when you're sitting down and making a decision. the small decision you have to make is where is this country going right and what is the additional value you can add that's my job okay i am not immune to watching everything else i know what is happening and i know this is being covered what is the value addition that i am bringing to the table if i am sitting in the chair but i have some decision making power and therefore i have that microphone which people might not be listening somebody might be okay the Decision making has to be done, and I have a very young editing team. Our uh, average age of the team is about five, and this is what I tell them: apply your mind to everything. Okay, you see an observation, and this is a bulldozer, and this is a riot, and this is a, a, a provocative speech. Apply your mind because every time you also give attention to the guy making the provocative speech. Well, it's me, our guys. Then you observe, make provocative speech. Then you will be in prime time debate. You know, you have a, a, a you know a star who go to jail for three seconds. And she's got all the publicity in the world because we are all fascinated by her. So they're doing things which make them famous. So Tarun, it's about understanding that the country needs to have a larger worldview. We need to have an opinion on on global affairs and what is the small role that can be played to contribute on that. I think we're and we're really really sorry and uh, we we uh, break for lunch. Okay, no. okay, we we can have uh, conversation on that. Can, can I just uh, small thing? Uh, my thanks to the exchange for media team and Dr. Patra for doing exactly what Rahul was saying. Is getting people together. We have to get after people, journalists, especially in the middle of the day. All our media meetings to attend. Uh, it's very fundamentally important because unless as journalists we all sit down together and have a ten-year, twenty-year plan. I mean, give you a small example, which is the point I wanted to make. Five years from now, if a sexual assault happens inside the metaverse. Are you going to have a metaverse beat of reporters with avatars reporting from inside the metaverse of the generation? So these are things we need to figure out, and it seems for media is a great platform. And thank you guys for doing this. Thank you, Vishal. Thanks. Man.